Hi guys. So I think I always start my videos so. <laughs> Today's card's going to be um, I guess sort of going along the lines of the previous one where I'm using um, some of the pearl alcohol inks and again this is another panel that I created and the colour combo just reminded me of dinosaurs so for whatever reason <laughs> I decided that the dinosaurs were what we needed to do with it so I've got the panel here and the colours that I used for those were uh, Villainous which I think is my favourite uh, Smolder and Mineral and again there's a just in case you've not seen the other one um, what happens is the colour will separate the pigment powder will separate from the ink so you have to there's a ball in here and you have to shake like crazy so to really mix that up so um, and you, sometimes bet while you're playing you might have to do that again as well so so there's that so those are the colours for the panel and I use some Judicans um, glossy card which I've had for like 11 years so <laughs> I just thought I'd use that I've not tried Yupo yet um, I'm a little on the fence because it's a plasticky paper um, and I don't know whether you can recycle it so if anybody knows that um, can you please comment because I don't know I haven't looked at that yet whether you can actually whether it's um, recyclable as well just because there's enough plastic in the world isn't there so that's just my my view on it <laughs> um, having said that this is plastic so <laughs> anyway so I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn Bayou backdrop and I this is the die set but I thought the the Bayou part which normally would go if I just put this on here would normally go this way so that these are all hanging down um, I'm going to turn it round as if it's sort of you know sort of prehistoric grass that's the idea anyway so this is Pear Pizzazz by um, Stampin' Up and I'm just going to use the like I say the frame part of it and then this is um, Soft Suede which I just kind of colour matched it to the um, alcohol inks um, and it worked pretty well so it's 11 by four and a quarter scored a five and a half um, and that's my card base I then have a stamp set called prehistoric fun and this is a um, my favorite things MFT stamp set and I actually watched a video a long time ago by um, Amy R she's prairie paper and ink and um, she did I can't remember if she actually used Mission Gold which is the paint I'm going to use um, I can't remember off the top of my head but she had the stamp set and she did this really cool card and I just I had to have it it's just that's how it works sometimes <laughs> so um, I eventually found it locally so that was that was kind of cool um, so that's what I'm going to use today and I have stamped them using some I used a EK Success powder tool first of all and that gets rid of any sticky or, or um, residue on your cardstock. I then used some Versafine in Vintage Sepia. Um, the reason I've used this sort of brownie colour or sepia colour is because I thought it worked more with the colours that I've used for the alcohol inks, the sort of brown tones um, and I thought that worked really well. So that's another thing just sort of see what other inks as a you know like a stamping ink that you've got and see if you've got another color you could always you know mix it up like that so I used the Versafine and I used some detail clear cosmic shiver um, embossing powder um, again I'm not great when, when it comes to that <laughs> um, but I like the idea that I could have a like a well once you've embossed it with a heat tool you get this almost like a well um, that it creates and therefore when you use your watercolors it will sort of sit in that well if that makes sense so you don't have to wait between colors so say you're coloring this you're painting this you wouldn't have to wait between colors just to allow them to dry enough otherwise they 
if you don't then it will try and bleed into the next piece uh, the next part of your image so for me doing the heat embossing actually is kind of cool because of that and a bit easier when it comes to watercoloring but I don't find I'm um, like some people have really good luck with this <laughs> I just don't find it works as well for me like some areas are fine and they've you know I have lost some detail but it's sort of it's actually worked there oh, the <laughs> oh I thought I was gonna see sorry <laughs> like you do um and there's other areas and I don't know that the camera's gonna pick this up but there's other areas like here where it just the embossing powder just sort of didn't stick at all um so it didn't really it didn't emboss as such um so another thing is I have this little paintbrush and so when you've before you heat emboss your um so you've got your you've inked it you've stamped uh, sorry you've stamped it and then you've put your powder on your embossing powder on before you go to heat emboss it if there are any like flecks of embossing powder in between um, the images or in the middle of the images just gently and very carefully because um, you don't want to knock the actual image lines but just gently take the paintbrush um, and carefully sort of brush those pieces off and then if you blow on it it will then remove them off the page um, but the brush helps to sort of release them from the paper um, that's just in case your powder tool hasn't worked as well or you haven't um, you know put enough powder on or whatever and they you know static anything like that will will sort of can do that so um, a little paintbrush is handy for that sort of thing so um, that's what I've got going on there and this is on Tim Holtz paper um, I like this paper because it's really white like a lot of watercolor papers are quite creamy in color um, so this is nice because it's white and um, I've actually used there's a textured side and I've used the smoother side so that's that one and then the paints like I mentioned is my that I'm going to use on my watercolor I mean on my mission golds so this palette you won't necessarily see it in the camera because <laughs> it's huge um, if I turn it this way you might see it a bit better it's massive right and this whole thing here is a palette as well um, and what I did was I created like a as like a what do you call it <laughs> chart <laughs> that can sit just in there and then these colors run up like this are the same colors that run in that well there so that's just a tip there um, I actually case this from uh, Amy R as well she did a um, like her opening and review of these paints and I copied that so that um, I could have some sort of chart as well and that actually made sense because then as I'm looking at this while I'm painting I can go oh I need that color there and I know what I'm picking um, but you won't necessarily see this in the film because <laughs> like I say it's massive it's a huge palette so it'll be off to the side but that's where we that's where we're at so the next bit I'm going to do is the water coloring and then I will put the card together and I will see you at the end <laughs> thanks guys
so I've got them all cut out and I'm probably going to fast forward through this next bit but what I've done is I've created a hinge for the bayou um, just with some washi tape um, so that I can sort of visualize where they're going to sit so I've kind of got an idea now so I'm going to fast forward through this bit and um, put the card together I'm also going to use just some white card stock, stock some Versafine vintage sepia, so the same colour that I've used throughout, um, and some stamps to create my little um, sentiment for it. So, um, yeah, so enjoy. But I thought I'd just quickly show you how these cut out as well. So they cut out really well. Um, and I think they look very cool. So I'm going to speed through this bit for you. So there you go guys I hope you've enjoyed this um, it's really quite fun to look at things like your dies and like with this one I just turned it upside down and it created a whole different look um, and again showcasing the as much as possible in the background I didn't want it over you know put loads and loads of stuff on there so that you couldn't see that gorgeous shimmery alcohol ink in the background so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you give it a give it a try. Have a look at your um your dies and see whether you can use them in a different way or do things like a whole die cut card just with dies that you've got. Um so yes, I hope you enjoyed this and um please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more from me. And thank you to everybody who is subscribing and commenting and, you know, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube or wherever it is, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate all your, your support um, in this lovely community that we all are in. So I uh, will see you in the next one, guys.